So Gachi board, I'll plug Gachi board right now. This was developed by Mark. Check out Gachi board. It's pretty cool. Um, shows you the top three highest Alchemica spenders per month. <clears throat> or actually it is per, you can do it per week or per month for any specific week or month. Shows you the unique addresses on the leaderboard, uh, installations that have been minted for that specific time frame, and uh, this could be really cool for gamification. Uh, right now, it's the four Alchemica types, but eventually, it could. Uh, there are uh, the bizarre parcel and glitter spending options that are going to be added uh, as well. So this is really cool. Um, thanks to Mark for putting this. Uh, this together and uh, we'll be able to uh, have some Alchemica competitions, which is what this proposal is uh, structured around. So uh, fun Alchemica spending competition. Uh, this has been a long time in the works, but they are finally getting ready to launch Gachi board competition season one. And so the competition will rank which addresses have spent the most Alchemica for a given time frame. Uh, so there'll be a four week, four one week rounds and a total of 80,000 ghost um, for grabs. That's what this proposal, that's what this is proposing. Uh, Pixelcraft has already confirmed they'll provide 25,000 ghost. And this proposal is to fund another 55,000 ghost from the Gachiverse Player Rewards wallet. Uh, full full detail full details can be found in the forum post, and the aims of the competition here are incentivize Alchemica and glitter spending to reduce the circulating supply before PvP, provide a fun gamified way for gamers and for guilds and individuals to build their farms, and have an entertaining and friendly competition for all to participate in or observe. So this is kind of taking the vibe of rarity farming and kind of trying to apply to um, building out your parcels. And, you know, the hope here is also, in addition to the entertainment, you know, that it'll actually maybe drive um, some positive uh, pressure for Alchemica. And so if you look at uh, Hardcore's mirror board here, uh, there's an example of the different rounds, how they would be con conducted, and the multiplier that you would get for those rounds. So there's like a specific type of distribution. Each round will be about 19,000 ghosts. Uh, and then the leaderboard, of course, will rank the addresses that have spent the most. Uh, and then there'll be everything will be accounted for in FUD units. So FUD will be the standard unit of account. Uh, the raffle will only be applicable to addresses that have not won any leaderboard prizes. Each 1,000 FUD equivalent will, each 1,000 FUD equivalent spent over the four weeks will get one raffle entry. So prizes will, will either be swept from the bazaar floor using 4,000 ghost or donated. Uh, at the end of four weeks, uh, there'll be a live stream where the prizes are drawn. Method of drawing to be confirmed, but would be a low-tech off-chain solution. So there's a greater Gachiverse, greater Gachiverse leaderboard competition, and then there's also a uh, raffle. So this is uh, it's interesting. I want to see what people have to say about this. Um, personally, I thought this was a great idea. I just wonder if this is something that could have been like, what's the what's what's the argument for funding this in ghost versus alchemica i guess is my my one question uh but also um do we see this having a positive impact overall on the gachi verse economy um or no effect at all or what, what are your thoughts on the the impact this could have so i guess two questions what are the impact and then also uh, ghost versus Alchemica for prices. Impact. Yeah, I mean, what do 
What's the, the stated goal of this proposal, I guess, is a good place to start? Yeah, um, the, stated, the stated goal here, uh, or the aims of this competition, uh, it says to incentivize Alchemica and glitter spending to reduce circulating supply before PVP. That seems to be the main one there that, the, that they've outlined in their proposal here. To incentivize okay. Alchemica and glitter spending to reduce circulating supply. Hmm. That seems to be the main one. The other one, uh, the other two are provide a fun gamified way for guilds and individuals to build their farms and have an entertaining and friendly competition. Yeah, I think the the one main aim here, it seems like, is incentivize Alchemica and glitter spending. So it seems like the goal would be like how how can we view this proposal as being successful? It seems like the metric would be how much Alchemica is being burned or spent um, uh, compared to if the Dow just took that 80K and basically bought all that Alchemica and burned it. Is that, yeah, is that something I mean, like that? Yeah, I'm, I kind of look at Quincy's comment here and I kind of, I somewhat agree with it, to be honest. Uh, you know, people already kind of have slowed down their spending on farming. Um, so to actually dump a bunch of ghosts into the economy, I don't necessarily would, if it was spent on farming, it would result in kind of what Crypto Gachi is saying. It's just more alchemical issuance if they took that ghost and recirculated it back into their farms. Uh, and if they didn't, and they just, you know, either sold the ghost or bought something else with the ghost and kept it out of the alchemical economy, um, then it's almost like uh, they're getting a rebate. Like this is a rebate on your alchemica spending. So I don't necessarily know if this sort of like incentive is actually going to result in more engagement per se. Um, you know, I think it's uh, good intentions behind this idea, but I don't know if it actually will, will result in any kind of you know, it's kind of trying to say, oh, well, we'll incentivize Alchemica and glitter spending to reduce the circulating supply. So basically pump the price, right? That's what you're trying to do. But I don't know if it's actually going to do that. Like, even if you're trying to achieve that, I don't know if that's actually going to result in that. <laughs> John Gachi, I feel this proposal to be the dark side of capitalism. And Coder Dan, you made a good point. You said, well, what's the difference if we just, you know, if we just took $80,000 worth of ghost, purchased Alchemica or whatever, and burnt it, you know, does it have any different effect? I don't, I don't think it maybe does. I think it's a sim very similar effect. Probably. Well, we could, basically what we need to see is, this is kind of how we evaluate uh, our, in like the internal, uh, giveaway and not not giveaways but the uh like the mosaic tile and halloween contest basically uh if if we had just like um basically we look at if we spent 10 10k on go uh, of ghost on alchemica versus uh, um, creating this this incentive and then uh trying to incentivize spending via that is the multi is there a multiplier so is it 2x is as effective or 5x as effective 10x as effective that's kind of what we're uh aiming for that i mean that's what this is this proposal i, I think is trying to aim for is to have kind of a, a a multiplier on how much alchemica is spent versus the amount of ghosts uh invested give it away so that would be the main way to judge whether it's been successful or not I think my one criticism uh, for Gachi board is there's the the competition lacks complexity. Like there's a lack of complexity here to call this a game. Like it's not really gamified in any way. If there was like an implemented point system and you had like points allocated to each type each type of decoration for the tier, there was a way to actually screen each parcel that's in the competition. Like if there was more. 
uh, granularity with how someone could modify, skillfully modify the parcel to actually gain some sort of a points advantage in the leaderboard aside from just the uh, base Alchemica spent. Like we're looking at, if we were to look at how you spend your Alchemica also, maybe you're just not building farms and there's an aesthetic component to this competition as well. Um, you know, I think we get this, this is a good base for a competition, but I don't think this serves as a standalone competition on its own. It lacks granularity. There's really no competitiveness. There's no complexity as a game. So I think in those terms, there's like, it could, it could use some, some more, um, like gamification, like to make it fun. I don't know if it currently does that. I think currently it's a it's a way to incentivize more spending, but it's not necessarily going to increase in more engagement or a, you know, I'm thinking in terms of a content creator, how could I create content around this and make it interesting for people to watch? Um, and there, you know, it'd be really hard to make content on this type of a competition because you're not really, you would just be reporting on who's spending the most Alchemica. You know, like how how do you make content from this? That's the value that I could see being brought to the table here is actually community engagement and getting people. Yeah, exactly, Jesse. Uh, I think that would be the primary uh, goal because what's you know what's outlined in the proposal here may not necessarily be achieved. Like I don't think it's gonna. Who knows if it's gonna actually reduce significantly reduce circulating supply of ink alchemica or. Um, you know, I don't think in its current state would actually provide a fun way for guilds and individuals to build, like build out their farms. Well, you know, it would just be a, there'd be no content you can make from it basically. So um, still like open to this idea, like it's a cool idea on the surface, but it needs, probably needs like a set of rules and ways to compete so that it's not solely based on just how much Alchemica you spend. In a week there yeah mark raises a good point when i was reading his proposal there are a couple uh kind of levers here i think i i haven't read it in a couple days so i forget exactly what the rounds were but there's different rounds have like a different multiplier depending on when you spend it so one of the interesting parts is do you spend it at the beginning of the week the be or the beginning of the round? Or do you wait until the end to see, like, to try and get at the top for that, that week? And so I think um, I have to check his, his spreadsheet, but I think different rounds have, like, a different multiplier for how early you are in spending it. That's, uh, that idea came from the glitter spending leaderboard that we talked about a little bit for the lodges and the lodge, uh, the, the channeling for that. So that could be, uh, that adds a little bit of a dynamic to it because people need to think, well, should I, should I, uh, blow it all right here at the beginning or should I wait and see how much I'm going to need to spend until the end of the round? Yeah, here we go. Here's the rounds and the multipliers. So this is, um, so as you see, as you get down to the wire, the multiplier, it starts at 1x, and then it, I guess it goes down to 0.4x. Really, you could think of it as whatever, 2x to 1x or 1x to 0.4x. But generally, yeah. And then uh, trying round two is trying all 1x. So you're basically, it doesn't matter when you spend it. It's all the same. And then I think the other rounds have some other ideas as well. What is the, um, something I'm looking for here in the proposal, what's the tail of distribution for rewards? Like, is it, um, like, I don't see how many, like, is it the top 100 addresses? Is it the, I don't see where it says. I think it's it was top 20, and this is probably, maybe Mark, if he's around, could come on and talk about it a little bit. Yeah, let's see if his hand's up. But I do wonder, you know, having top 20, does that 
is that going to make it easier to reach the multi the this kind of multiplier that we're talking about or harder because if it's top 20 maybe like the more people can uh the more that there's that people are able to like to collaborate the uh, the the easier it is for them to to reach an ev equilibrium where the money invested it equals exactly what the return of ghost would be so when there's more participants i think it possibly might there you might be more likely to have less collusion between the players but you know that would need to be proven out yeah that's the thing right i mean uh i see a reset here it says 60 percent of the rewards to the top five uh, Mark is following up here. Payout structure is based on poker tournament, similar to rarity farming, just less funding. Right, but is, it, is a poker tournament? Because I, I don't think they're quite the same, right? Because poker tournament, it's a you're you're playing for yourself. But in this, as people have pointed out, you could have multiple wallets or multiple guilds kind of colluding together and investing in one parcel, and then splitting the rewards between themselves. I don't know if this is equivalent to poker. I mean, I like the idea of building across the board. If you have lower mid tier uh, spenders also involved, it would be kind of great to have a longer tail of, uh, of rewards. But uh, like you say, I don't know how that would affect that top, um, the top portion of the leaderboard. If we were to do like a, let's say the top like 200 Alchemica spenders instead of 20, but then the rewards, the multipliers, or sorry, the reward is concentrated uh, still near the top, but there's that longer tail if you want to participate. Uh, it may actually uh, open up the pool and maybe you might, may have less collusion there, but uh, I could maybe even at a lower level, you could see people purchasing one parcel together or managing one parcel together mm -hmm. splitting the rewards you see it happen yeah really i'd be worried that if he says encourage guilds to battle it out what if the guilds just said hey why don't we just work together and we'll we'll make we'll invest together in a new parcel and build it up to level nine as fast as we can and we'll split the reward because we know we're gonna get level one and we're not gonna spend any more than we need to we're gonna kind of work together here so we don't outspend each other and have to fight over it. That's why I think if we're going to have a competition like this, there should be an aesthetic. Like we have enough, we have enough in our um, like building economy that there are tiles like mosaic tiles, there are um, decorations of different rarities. Um, it could be a really good way to incentivize crafting. So like from Pixelcraft's point of view, if over this, uh, what did it say, four, over this four weeks, if you did like two craft releases, that would be really good for your crafting releases because those, like let's say crafting a rare item would grant you another three points or something uh, on the leaderboard. In addition to where your current standing is, you would get like a kind of a, a points boost um, from whatever, uh, decorations you have on your parcel it could be a really way good way to incentivize crafting maybe what in uh free bear what incentive is there for a single parcel single gachi owner to participate in this so i think you're also making a good point there i think this is uh currently kind of aimed at the uh, bigger spenders in our community and having some competition near the top there. Uh, but if you had a aesthetic uh, aspect to this, I feel like it would, it would throw uh, something interesting into the mix for even someone with a one parcel. I think the other part that's probably hurting this a little bit is that the, there is a quite a long buildup. And so people are starting to take this into account and like they're already delaying their upgrades or they're getting a huge stash of alchemica right now and kind of waiting for it when they 
like if this was uh, dropped as a surprise, it would probably have a, a different effect than the kind of the month long build up there's been to it. Not saying it's not an interesting uh, idea. It's just that it, that is adding a little bit of friction, I think. Mikey J makes a good point. That's kind of what I'm getting at here is a parcel kind of rarity farming competition. So not just a gotcha board alchemica spending competition. Gotcha board could be a tool used as part of this rarity farming competition. But ultimately as a DAO, if we thought of a better, like a more comprehensive uh, competition that involves uh, different aspects of like the rarity of your parcel, you know, that's something we should consider. Maybe as a DAO, like there's a some sort of a system that can be developed to determine how rare your parcel is. Uh, would be interesting. Um, and I see, uh, yeah, I, I could see, I could see there being a uh, really good engagement from like different parcel rarities. Like, you know, the rarest parcels could get entitled to the biggest ghost award. But, um, yeah, Mikey J, you get rarity points for having high-level installations or crafting decorations. It seems a bit more dynamic. I uh, 100% agree with that. Um, I, I think from this discussion, you know, I'm getting the feeling that this proposal would not necessarily uh, have any significant impact on, like, the economy. So, I mean, we got to think about what this is trying to... Uh, uh, what this is trying to achieve then, and if it's more engagement, then maybe we should be thinking of a more dynamic model that does use some of this, but also takes into account um, some of Mikey J's points there as well. I'm just reading some of the comments here. Uh, no futuristic, what happens after the competition ends? This is a little shot in the arm, not a fix. Um, Mikey J also in having the rewards work more like gachi rarity farming so the rewards are evergreen not limited to a time window the player is willing to accept lower return in the short run anything to anything to encourage a long-term mindset is good uh, my calm I'm still a fan of parade of parcels with public voting for Best in category winners. Uh, we can introduce unique categories and voting criteria to help engagement and count encountering uh, gaming. So this is something we've been discussing internally in GMI is to actually do a pivot away from the way we've been doing the parades and actually focus on design and aesthetics of parcels and, and highlighting those during our live streams. So this could be a way to kind of introduce uh, some competition uh, amongst different aesthetics, uh, especially if we have a, a rarity system in place. I think that's one of the really cool things about the Avagachi itself that when I first, when first finding the project was the BRS score and having a uh, allocated measure, like provable rarity uh, for this mm -hmm. NFT was really interesting to me. So, you know, having a system for provable rarity of your parcel could also be interesting. So, uh, yeah, overall, I think we should continue this discussion. I don't necessarily think, you know, just from this discussion here that this would be something we should um, implement in its current form. We should iterate on this a little bit and and, and see if we could uh, come up with something a little bit more uh, dynamic, uh, a little bit more competitive, uh, and maybe more engaging from like a community perspective or content creation perspective. That's just my it, opinion. It looks like in the short term, it is going to probably pass. And maybe in, like the Fugachi Vault votes on it, and it's, it's already got 5.7 mil in voting power. So it's probably going to meet quorum. I mean, it's, I think uh, it's a, it'll be a good experiment if, if we do uh, get to a point where it reaches quorum and we do do a vote on it, it's, it'll be an interesting experiment to see 
of what the actual EV ends up being. And it would be great to have some data from uh, Mark or anyone who is uh, doing analytics with can to, to help and actually see was this a, a positive EV proposal or did it end up being kind of neutral EV or even negative. So it's not a huge amount of the treasury and it's, I think it's, it is an interesting experiment to see. Yeah, I agree with Mark, you know, relatively for what he's asking here, it looks like a really large amount, but actually relatively speaking, it's a uh, quite a small percentage of the player rewards pool. So we can maybe use this opportunity if it is going to pass, you know, let's use this opportunity for some data collection and let's let's follow up post uh, competition once this is wrapped up or even during the during this while it's going on and uh, continue brainstorming because I think we could be on to something bigger if we if we um, yeah if we pursue this we, be, we might be on to something bigger for for a parcel competition. Yeah, I think we shouldn't shy away too much from some economic experiments. This is we're still very early in, in this whole thing. As long as we can have some follow up and actually look at the data that does surface after it's complete. If we don't look at any data, then it's completely pointless. Yeah, absolutely. And I think it'll be good for Mark too, from a development perspective. He's put a lot of work, you know, uh, this is one of the uh, Dow funded uh, bounties for building a alchemical leaderboard. And uh, Mark took it up and, and built this out here. And he's done a really good job on it. I think there's a uh, further updates that will eventually be that will be put on here, like uh, glitter spending, for example. And there will also be a competition UI that'll be implemented here also. So um, this will be a really cool tool and, uh, you know, appreciate him putting the work into this. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, this will be interesting. Let's see how it, let's see how this pans out. By the way, you do know it's only really, I mean, Pixelcraft, we're putting uh, 25K towards this from our own budget, and then 55K is coming from the player rewards. So it's really only 55K from player rewards. Because that, I mean, from our perspective, we, we just want to, uh, see what the effect of this is it's kind of a little a little uh, land stimmy and uh, if it doesn't have any effect you know that's or if it's a neutral ev that that's also fine i wouldn't expect it to be negative ev but it could be but then you know after doing this we'll all be able to have a precedent we can look at it and say you know what they didn't didn't really work that we shouldn't use this tactic anymore we'll, let's let's look for some other stuff but if we don't try it we'll never know it doesn't really harm a lot, you know, in the long run. Yeah, agree.